curbing inflation, creating more computer chips to improve supply chains, and passing long-sought climate change and voting rights legislation all remain part of President Biden's agenda in Washington this week. But as our Joe St. George explains, it's not the controversial or complex issues that may be the president's biggest obstacles. It may be time and those hotly contested midterm elections coming up later this year. Job not yet finished. President Biden seeking to jumpstart his stalled agenda in Congress again this week. What's still on the table impacting you? Modest election changes are possible. New COVID relief spending is too. Not to mention funding for the environment and pre-K education. Possible executive orders are possible as well if Congress doesn't act. But the president is facing the realization that he doesn't have all the time in the world to get his ambitions accomplished. This year is an election year with polls suggesting Democrats may lose control of at least one chamber of Congress. I don't believe the polls. But while the president may not believe the polling, you can't dismiss the fact that each one of these Democrats is retiring. And while some are doing so to run for a different office, it is a higher than usual number. And assigned Democrats may have some tough political fights this year. And it's not just retirements impacting the president. Democrats are facing difficult redistricting fights, too. What is redistricting? It's the process of redrawing congressional maps, which impacts who represents your family. It happens every 10 years and is tied to the census. We have lawyers that had uh, had concerns about what they were doing. In Florida, Republican Governor Ron DeSantis is pushing Republicans to draw maps that favor Republicans even more than what was originally proposed. In Kentucky, Democratic Governor Andy Beshear vetoed a redistricting map that heavily favors the GOP, but the state legislature overruled him. In Tennessee, Republicans are advancing plans to make it easier to win near Nashville. The same is true in Kansas, where Republicans are hoping to fare better in races near Kansas City. All of this puts pressure on President Biden to get something done. But getting something done in Washington right now for the White House isn't easy. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.